Meet the drone builder turned pilot, who invested millions of his own pesos to build a personal flying vehicle based off of drone technology. Watch the ultralight vehicle propel itself skyward using 16 onboard computers, and see how it could answer the call for autonomous vehicles in the traffic-ridden metropolis of the inventor's native Philippines. Kix Mendiola always wanted a sports car. Now, he has something better. Kix's dream of flying something of his own make would take him six years and millions of his own pesos. Concepto Melenia is a flying sports car that uses multi-copter technology. Basically, it has 16 motors, it has 16 propellers, 16 computers. Kix's personal vehicle is nothing short of a triumph. He claims to be the first person in the Philippines with a car capable of vertical takeoff and landing, and the inventor of the smallest flying car in the world. My background is I'm a dancer turned into a filmmaker, and from filmmaking, I started loving uh, drones. So I started building drones for the film industry. I slowly realized that this technology is so cool and it's so safe, and I started planning on making a drone that can carry me. Creating Concepto Millennia was very difficult. I had to start from scratch. I had to learn everything on my own. Kix tested his concepts by trial and error. He fabricated numerous iterations of the Concepto Millennia, wielding better materials, better techniques, and better designs every time. One of his first vehicles was a hoverboard you stood on. Perhaps indicative of Kix's projects to come, it too used propellers to send its rider in the air. His first seated hover vehicle was not much more than a seat strapped to a metal frame with propellers. Kix knew he could do better. His second personal flying vehicle used spars that held the propellers out from the body of the vehicle. This propeller layout offered more control and stability. A similar propeller layout would go into the Concepto Millennia. The final version of the aircraft is all electric. It's powered by batteries which require two and a half hours to charge. And as of now, it can fly for 12 to 15 minutes at a time. It may not be commercially viable without a few more tweaks, but even in its current state, it looks like it could make short hops from destination to destination. There is a lot of potential for the personalized aircraft, especially in Kix's native Philippines. In 2016, popular navigation app Waze ranked Manila, the capital of the Philippines, as having the worst traffic on Earth. In May, Insider reported the Philippines planned to invest $14 billion in an entirely new, sustainable city. A solution to a capital beleaguered by overpopulation, heavy flooding, and smog. Amongst greener and more efficient building technologies, the development also called for drones and driverless cars, a call the Concepto Millennia is more than capable of answering. But just how easy is the Concepto Millennia to pick up and fly? Kix says the aircraft can be controlled by joystick or even piloted remotely. Concepto Millennia is very easy to fly. Unlike conventional helicopters, you will probably need an hour or two and you can learn to fly this on your own. Kix's videos have already attracted the attention of investors like Star8, an Australian tech company based in the Philippines that aims to build green transportation options. Star 8 will help Kix ready the Concepto Millennia for a mass market. I've been piloting drones for almost 10 years now, but flying on something that you created is just a totally different experience. It makes you really proud and happy 
knowing that the machine that you're flying in is made from scratch and it's from your hard work. It's just a dream come true.